Hello YouTubers, beer geeks and beer hounds alike. Bill here, we're going to do a beer review. Okay, this one is by, well wait a second. Brewed and canned by, oh, let me get my glasses. Brewed and canned by Brewery Omigang. And uh, this one's, oh my God. This one's called Neon Lights, Hazy IPA. And it comes in at 4.3% alcohol by volume. It's got Citra, Mosaic, Topaz, and Simcoe. It says, Phosphorant fruit aromas fly in this juicy, sessionable New England style IPA. Bright, refreshing, and vividly dry hopped. Its unfiltered glow will illuminate your senses. I probably wouldn't have bought it if, it was, if I had noticed it was 4.3%. Very, um... I was in a hurry when I grabbed it. I don't even know why. I didn't check that. Bummer. Oh well. Best by 4, 11, 21. So it's, it's really fresh. Uh, maybe it'll surprise me. But that's what the can looks like. Okay. It's really light though. Um, I normally don't go for beers this light. I mean, my experience... Any beer that's lighter than like 6% just doesn't have enough flavor, you know, but we'll see. Cheeked it on that one, didn't I? Well, maybe, uh, maybe it'll, it'll surprise me and, and be good even at that light of an ABV. I can smell hops. We'll see. We shall see. Okay, we have a monster, frothy, creamy, silky head. Yeah, looks pretty good. It's like a light orange, kind of yellowy color. Yeah, looks like a New England. Maybe it'll surprise me. We shall see. Looks good. Looks decent. All right. The head's pretty thick looking. All right, well, let's get a hit. Cheers. Well, actually, let's do an aroma. Huh, getting ahead of myself here. Well, it smells good. It does smell really good. Yeah, I'm getting lots of tropical notes. Lots of tropical notes. I'm even getting a little kind of a, almost like a caramel sweetness through there. Yeah, like pineapple, some orange. A little guava, maybe some mango. And there's a little bit of bready kind of malt, little sweetness coming through also. It smells really good. Let's get a hit. Cheers. It tastes decent. Surprisingly. For such a light beer, I mean... This isn't any stronger than any, um, you know, Bud Miller Coors, but a lot more flavor. Yeah. 
That's pretty damn good for such a light beer. Wow. All right. Huh. Mm. That's probably one of the best lighter beers I've ever had, actually. Um, the taste follows the aroma. It's got a little bit of earthy spice hops coming through in the sip. It's not bad. It's got medium light mouth feel. It's holding good head retention. It's got good good flavor, good hop flavor, but of course it it, it doesn't have the the malt, you know, coming through very much. But it's enough. I mean, this is pretty tasty for what it is. A light, really light beer. That's pretty good, actually. Mm. A little refreshing. It's pretty refreshing. Um, I mean, if you're going to sit in session for, you know, a while, this would be a good one. You know, you wouldn't get too inebriated. But still, I mean, would I buy it? Personally, no, because um, I like beer with a little more kick to it. I don't want to have to drink, you know, four pints in an hour and a half to, to feel anything. This would be an excellent entry-level IPA for somebody that it wants to try out like hazy IPA. This would be perfect for them. IBUs are pretty low. get the rest of it in here. I usually go for beers that are like at least six and a half percent. But this is really good for a, a such a light hazy IPA. This is, this is pretty tasty. Not bad. This I would have to say this is for a beer that is this light it's probably the best light beer I've ever had that tastes pretty darn good Well, I'm enjoying this uh, beer. It's not bad. Um, not bad at all, really. So that's pretty much what I got on this um, this beer here. Neon Lights, Hazy IPA, I'm a gang. Well, they really uh, tricked me on that one. But it's my fault for not checking. You should always check your ABVs and your dates. Um, so with that said, I'm going to give this a score of 1 to 5 stars. Um, I think I'm going to give this one a... Uh, it's pretty tasty, actually. I just, I'm just not going to be able to get very buzzed off of it. So, But that's not... This is, you know, just overall. I'm going to give this a 3.8. For taste, though, man, for taste, I would have to give it probably four stars. But since it's uh, so light, I, I think 3.8's pretty good score for what it is. So 3.8 it is. That's my story. I'm going to stick with that. I'll have the description of this beer at the bottom of the video in the description section. I'd appreciate it if you'd like and subscribe. That would be awesome. And um, you all have an awesome morning and we'll catch you later see ya